focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Siemens Innovation Day India. Accelerate your digital transformation. Media partner CNBC TV18. For decision makers, digital transformation remains the most important future trend. How can we make it work? How are digital twins, IIoT, and AI enabling sustainable businesses? These are questions on top of the minds of many CXOs. The fourth edition of Siemens India Innovation Day provided answers to many of the questions from customers across industry, infrastructure, mobility and energy. Through use cases and references, customers gained insights into how technology and ecosystem can solve their challenges. India is today at the cusp of a period of great growth. The factors driving this growth are increase in capex spending in infrastructure, increase in private capex spending in new age technologies, and increased capacities and decarbonization. Siemens has the technologies, the products, the know-how, and the commitment to support India and support all of you in realizing this growth. Digitalization, as I said, has to be specific to your industries, you can't do it alone, you need an ecosystem. But more importantly, companies cannot really get the benefit of digitalization unless the entire supply chain down the line is digitalized as well. India has 60 million small and medium enterprises. And this is really the entire supply chain that we will need to support on their digitalization journeys if many of our companies here in the room want to achieve our own digitalization targets. And therefore, this is a, another benefit that Siemens Accelerator can provide, is support you to bring in your entire supply chain onto one platform that can help you achieve your digitalization targets but also support the small and medium enterprises in becoming much more competitive themselves. While concepts such as artificial intelligence and machine learning, digital twin, industrial edge, etc. are now fairly well understood, even though many still have to experience their full power, technology is developing at a rapid pace and already there are new technologies emerging such as industrial metaverse, Dr. Peter Corte, Chief Technology and Strategy Officer, Siemens AG, emphasized that the emergent industrial metaverse is no longer high. The industrial metaverse is here to stay. They say that, number one, it will be the largest and it will also be the fastest growing. So there's the enterprise metaverse, which you all know, which probably is going to be used more for collaboration. So, so if you use Zoom, Teams, whatever, of course, maybe we have virtual worlds where we do collaborate, and that's probably not no news to you. There is the conversation about the consumers, which was really inspired by, in particular, the gaming industry. But then eventually, there is the conversation about the industrial metaverse. So why is the industrial metaverse so much more important? Two reasons. One, value. Show me why I should spend money on that technology. How can it help me to achieve my goals faster, efficient, more efficiently, more sustainably? And second, technology. Because we, in industry, we've been always building on the building blocks or developing the building blocks of the industrial metaverse. And the biggest topic here are probably digital twins. So if you think about digital twins, and probably the concept is nothing new to you, it's really is the notion of having a digital replica of the real world objects. And the nice thing about this is, the minute you have that, you can do a lot of simulations around it. You can look at structural integrity, you can look at strength, you can look at aerodynamics, you could look at conductivity, uh, electrical flow, uh, all of this can be simulated the minute, of course, you have digital replica 
at your fingertips. And that's the big difference because a huge part of the industrial metaverse that we're going to use is obviously to simulate, to simulate machines, to simulate different parts, to simulate entire plants in order to make this work. How can companies implement decarbonizing strategies through technology? Karina Brehem, Vice President of Business Strategy, Great Technologies, Siemens Energy had the answers. 70% of all global gas house emissions are induced by energy. So energizing processes, energizing mobility, energizing buildings. We need to accelerate decarbonization in order to meet the very important 1.5 degree um, Celsius target. So it's important to talk about the decarbonizing of energy through technology. And we are of the opinion that technology will be the main driver for decarbonization. And we concentrated during R&D on three major areas. So first, we focus on efficiency increase because of course, energy costs money. It needs to be efficient. We need to really, really look into options how to, <clears throat> how to get out more of the resources we use, independently whether it's fossil sources or renewable resources. So making more out of the input we get from Mother Nature and making more of the input we have as human beings on the planet. Using electrons as energy is not the only answer. We look into ammonia, we look into e-methanols, we, uh, we look into e-gasolines. So this is the shift um, from fuels for uh, mobility for also making processes running. Third pillar is deep decarbonization. Industry experts spoke about how they realize real benefits while also contributing significantly to their decarbonization ambitions, how they overcame challenges and ensure KPIs and ROI unique to their industry. Let me start with you, Vaishali. AWS recently uh, kind of uh, grabbed the headlines when they said that they're going to uh, invest uh, $13 billion uh, in the process of uh, digitalization across various sectors in India. Where do you see so much demand? I mean, 13 billion, which are the sectors that are asking for this kind of money? Yeah, so actually the number is more like we have already invested $4 billion and by 2030, we will have invested 17 billion. 17, 17 so that's billion. another headline yes, today. Yes. <laughs> so that's uh, by 2030. And I think uh, primarily investment is going into our region in Mumbai. We also announced a brand new region which went live um, last year in Hyderabad. Uh, we see growth coming from all parts of our businesses. The growth is extremely secular, which is again very, very rare in many countries. So we have enterprises, you spoke about uh, financial services, terrific demand, not just for, like, I think today people are, when they're innovating and experimenting, it's not like, should we experiment in the cloud? It's like, we have to experiment on the cloud. There isn't much of an option or a plan B. If you need to be agile, if you need to scale quickly, if you need to be innovative, keep your cost low. So financial services front and center. And the conversations have really gone from peripheral experimentation to touching the core, being comfortable, you know, going to the uh, to, to the core of your business and technology. Media you spoke about, you know, every uh, OTT app, uh, I can't think of a single OTT app which is not on the cloud. They're also doing experiments on publishing. We are doing experiments on post-production, particularly during the time of COVID, print, publishing. And then you can go to manufacturing. Many people will resonate with that. It's not just ERP, but you've got uh, experiments going on in the center of the factory, whether it's production, getting data out of your machinery, monetizing it. We've got experiments, very successful experiment with Apollo tires, connecting their tires, factory. So I could go on and on. And then you have, of course, the SMB sector, 75 million SMBs in the country, two to three million on their part to digitization. Mr. Sodhi, let me come to the exact uh, other side. I always think AWS is serving, you know, the state of the art, the big companies uh, in, uh, uh, in the country. But uh, you represent perhaps the, uh, the bottom of the pyramid, as it were, the milkman and the food industry. Uh, if you can tell us, 
over there is digitalization a reality? In today's world, you can't work or can't think without digitalization. No doubt. And when digitalization comes to your mind, only comes plants or the logistics or normal thing or ordering at home food or taxi, etc. But let me tell you, digitalization, integration or use of digitalization is more relevant and more appreciated in the food supply chain. Right from production of the agriculture produce, maybe milk, aggregation of produce, processing of produce, and the marketing or selling of the produce. Can you, can you, you see, demonstrate it? Yeah, yeah, I tell you. Digitalization, when you say, it brings efficiency and the speed, no doubt. But in case of agriculture produce where masses are involved, millions, both sides, billions, this side, it brings efficiency in scale and transparency in this system. Well, I, if I talk about scale, I just give you milk in Amul. 3.6 million transaction happens in the morning, 3.6 million happens in the evening. And if you all cooperative, you take around 12 million. All milk producer, you take around 80 million. And it's all done digitally. Digitally. And what is the transparency and the trust? Because you are getting in your app what milk you have given in the morning, what was the fat and protein. So because you are going to get payment based on that, what quantity, what co and how much money has been deposited in your bank account. The accusation against data centers is they are power guzzlers. So uh, Sujit, you know, uh, how do you all seek to answer that challenge? No, certainly uh, data centers are power guzzlers uh, because of uh, the kind of compute and storage because ultimately it's all processing the data and storing the data and it requires energy to do that. The, the entire opportunity and challenge lies in terms of how effectively we are uh, measuring the power and controlling the power. So there are various terminologies which I would like to bring it to the table yes. which are prevalent in the data center industry. We, every data center gets built is efficiency is measured in terms of power utilization effectiveness. Data centers also used to conventionally use to uh, consume water which has ultimately gone to water utilization effectiveness. And now there are opportunities where data centers are looking towards carbon utilization effectiveness to be able to measure it effectively because the industry which we are into, our end consumers are signed up for RE100, which is use of renewable energy for the 100% maximum, or they wanted their ecosystem or processes to be net neutral. So that's where it's a challenge. At the same time, it's an opportunity to work towards sustainability goals. And each of data center organizations today building latest data centers or campuses, they are all striving and driving towards that. How can we cut our uh, energy consumption? How do we go RE? So, uh, you know, Robert, uh, is, can you give us some interesting examples of where you'll have helped people transcend to uh, sustainable energy? Generally speaking, you can cluster it into four bucket, uh, buckets. So one is decarbonization, which means actually making sure that you convert the energy source into electrical energy and then green energy. Yeah? So um, those are, let's say, two critical steps. The second part is on the consumption side. So that's the supply side. On the consumption side, you want to make sure you're energy efficient. That means that uh, uh, detect areas where energy is being wasted and cut that. Then you want to also optimize the use of resources. We heard water as an example, et cetera. And this is also a topic where with automation and digitalization, uh, we do a lot uh, uh, to identify these areas. And when you start talking about circularity, then this becomes a very critical point. Yeah? And the final bucket is, of course, it must be human-centric. Because in the end of the day, none of us are going to walk, on a, uh, walk to our next vacation, correct? We, we still want, if you're going on a vacation, you still want to do it somehow with comfort. And there are ways to do it. So you have to find solutions which people will find also easy to accept. Yeah? And in that context, uh, things like uh, using of alternative fuels or 
uh, e-mobility are topics we use. And uh, just to take a few examples, so if you see the buses moving around in Mumbai, the nice iconic double-decker buses, then those e-buses are charged with Siemens infrastructure. We've done something very nice because we've shifted from a CapEx-based model, gone to an OPEX-based model to make that work. Yeah? Looking at a building like this, um, if you look at the energy consumptions in a building like this, like a hotel, 55% of it goes into cooling. And if you can save about 15% of that energy, you have very quick ROIs. You're looking at less than two years, and you have not only saved energy, which is good for your bottom line, but you're also doing something for the environment. Thank you very much, uh, Robert, Vaishali, uh, Sujit, and uh, uh, Mr. Sodhi. I think this was an extremely educating and enlightening chat. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Siemens Innovation Day, India. Accelerate your digital transformation. Media partner, CNBC TV18. Siemens Innovation Day, India. Accelerate your digital transformation. Media partner, CNBC TV18. In celebration of Siemens' innovative endeavors, the Technology Spotlight offered a diverse collection of domain-specific topics, covering the transformation from automated to adaptive manufacturing. The key factors enabling adaptive manufacturing, the fascinating realm of green hydrogen, and the sustainability of data centers. The Ideas Marketplace took center stage, offering insights into use cases related to digital transformation, sustainability, mobility, cybersecurity, and the industrial metaverse. Siemens Accelerator Platform plays a crucial role in digital transformation. Siemens announced around 100 India-relevant digital use and reference cases, where companies can improve their efficiencies while also driving decarbonization measures in businesses. Siemens announced four ecosystem partners, TCS, Concept Engineers, SafeX Technologies, and Sonic Bolt Technologies. Together with Siemens Accelerator ecosystem partners, Siemens will be able to support the increasing demand for digitalization and decarbonization solutions in India. Our main objective of what is fitting in this ecosystem is that we want to offer a comprehensive and customized integrated building management solutions to our clients, wherein we want to differentiate ourselves from our competition, thereby leveraging the Siemens resources and technology. There has been a, a wonderful experience here uh, with all the technology leaders uh, participating and Siemens providing their best of class, best in class, state of art, innovative and intelligent uh, solutions which are reliable, which are open in nature wherein we can do any kind of third-party integrations, be it northbound or southbound integrations. Colab partners at the Innovation Day were Switch Mobility, MAs and Tata Power. We have partnered with Siemens in utilizing and leveraging on different products that they have on offer, starting from software, uh, equipment hardware like uh, the motion control and uh, data acquisition system. And of course, as a part of the post-processing, we also use some of the software that Siemens gives for finishing the part after printing them. This is a wonderful platform for uh, end users to come and witness different innovative products that Siemens has developed. And of course, what they've evolved uh, together along with partners like us and uh, to uh, showcase this to the outside world from different verticals. <laughs> Digitalization is a key enabler and indeed a key ingredient to drive productivity, quality, flexibility and above all, decarbonization and sustainability. Indian companies have a unique opportunity to accelerate their digital transformation with Siemens Accelerator portfolio, which includes latest technologies such as industrial AI, industrial edge, digital twin and 5G. Siemens Innovation Day, India. Accelerate your digital transformation. Media partner, CNBC TV18. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.